Hello and welcome back to my chaos of an office. Today I am going to be running you through all the things I loved about 12 days of Dash and Lily. This is the exclusive WH Smith book club cover. I love it. It's like a little Christmas present. And this is written by Rachel Conn and David Levithan. I always say that wrong. It's quite a tongue twister. David Levithan. Before reading this book, I hadn't read the one before it where you get to learn more about Dash and Lily as characters and how they came to be together. But I honestly didn't feel like when I was reading this, I'd missed out a huge chunk of the story, which I think is really good because you can just pick this one up whether you've read the first one or not and instantly you get straight into the story and I absolutely love this book. I'm gonna read you the back. 12 days, we had 12 days. It was gonna take more than finding the perfect tree. It was going to take a miracle. Dash and Lily have been dating for nearly a year, but when Lily's beloved grandfather falls ill, the repercussions take their toll on everyone. Even though they are still together, somehow the magic has gone out of their relationship and it's clear that Lily has fallen out of love with life. Action must be taken. Dash teams up with Lily's brother and a host of their friends determined to get Lily's groove back in time for Christmas. There are a couple of reasons why I picked this to go into my book club. One of which is the fact that this is set around Christmas time, which is perfect for this time of year. And I love reading seasonal stories around seasonal times because instantly you can picture everything they're talking about and it makes you feel so excited and so included within the book. You can really kind of let your imagination go wild. The second thing I absolutely loved about this book was that it was such an easy read. I immediately fell in love with the characters, I loved the writing style, I loved the story, and I honestly did not put this down. The minute I opened this, I was hooked, and I didn't put the book down until it was done. And because it's not a huge book, that didn't take me too long to read, and I really, really enjoyed this. I feel like if you're reading this and you've ever been in a relationship and you've had struggles but not because of a particular thing, whether that's someone that's been quite down or had issues themselves, it was quite real to read that in a character and within a couple because I think it's quite common now to read and watch things where the two kind of main love interests go through this like whirlwind fairy tale romance and actually the reality is it's not always like that and I really liked this book for capturing those moments and making them feel so real and the characters didn't feel young like it was just a really nice way to portray difficulties in relationships that aren't necessarily because of one or the other doing something wrong. It also did have romance in it because obviously Dash's efforts to make Lily feel more Christmassy are so cute, like this properly tugged on my heartstrings and I was like, oh, Dash is such a romantic and I love it because when you first start reading it, you sort of think, oh, he's not really that romantic. Is this really gonna work? And is he gonna have nice ideas? But actually through this book, you're really rooting for him. You're like, come on Dash, you can do it. And I loved that because he was such a lovely, genuine character. Although this book is essentially uh, trying to get Lily out of her funk, there are also some really cute, heartwarming and quite humorous moments too. This is the copy that I originally read. Um, I have to put covers on them so no one else knows what I'm reading. And I folded over one of the pages because there was a quote in there that I wanted to share with you. Um, let me see if I can find it. It was a really lovely quote about books and I will read it to you because she said, from the time I was a baby, my mum took me to the library at least once a week. Librarians were like Mary Poppins to me. They always knew how to match a book to my mood or to whatever I was going through at the time. I could always find peace in books. And then she said, an escape. Escape, sure, but it wasn't so much about getting away as going to. You can go anywhere in a book. Books are adventure, knowledge, possibility, and magic. And I loved that quote because as I was reading that, I was like, oh, I need to remember this. So I actually folded over the page and I was like, I need to remember this quote because I absolutely love it. And I want to like get it typed up somewhere, um, put it in my office or something. But yes, I love this. It's festive. It's cute. It also has some more kind of serious life issues and uh, you really do get drawn to the characters and it has a really lovely ending as well. And I 
am so happy that I read this and I do encourage any of you around the Christmas season to pick this up and read it also. I'm also now going to be reading the first one to find out how Dash and Lily actually met because so many of you have already told me that it's an amazing book so I'm excited to give that a read as well. I hope you liked this little mini review and also don't forget to keep an eye on the WH Smith Twitter for any Twitter takeovers and extra content and I'll see you again very very soon guys. Bye!